General Motors executives are in Kansas City marking a milestone. I'm joined now by Alan Beatty, who is the president of GM North America. Nice to talk to you once again. Nice to speak to you, Wanda. So you are marking the completion of the 500 millionth GM vehicle. You know, it wasn't that long ago that GM had some issues. There was the ignition switch problem, and just a few years ago, GM had to file for bankruptcy. So I'm sure this event is quite significant for the company. Yeah, it is. And uh, yeah, we're celebrating 500 million uh, vehicles that we sold around the world. Uh, we're not exactly sure of the date, but uh, the 500 millionth ro uh, rolled off a production line sometime in the second half of 2014. And so we've actually got celebration events happening around the world. Um, we actually gave away a, a vehicle today to a veteran. We're gonna give away a vehicle in our five regions where we do business. So it's been a big celebration. And so at the same time, we've announced a significant investment um, here in our Fairfax facility to build the all new 2016 Malibu. Uh, Alan, you've made a couple of significant announcements as of late. GM saying it's going to invest over $5 billion in U.S. plant improvements over the next few years. Is that the start of a new investment cycle for GM? Well, at the end of the day, uh, Rhonda, you know, to be successful in this business, you've got to have an incredible array of vehicles. And, you know, we are investing heavily in our product portfolio. Um, last week, the investment was actually $5.4 billion here um, in the U.S. over the next three years. And uh, we're in Kansas today um, at our Fairfax facility. This is where we'll build the new Chevrolet Malibu, which received such an incredible introduction at the um, New York Motor Show. So there's a lot going on. But yes, we're investing heavily in our product portfolio because we know that that's the way to success. So what else should consumers be looking for beyond the Malibu in terms of new models and new technology that continues to come out in cars? Yeah, so we've announced that we're actually going to introduce five uh, new Chevrolets at motor shows this year. It kicked off with the Chevrolet Volt. Um, this is the second generation Volt, which enjoys uh, even further extended range than ever before. We've just announced the pricing on that. Believe it or not, the vehicle is actually going to be cheaper than the vehicle it replaces because, again, it shows you the breakthrough in technology. From there, we went to New York. We announced um, the Chevrolet Malibu. We also announced our new mini car, the Chevrolet Spark. And there's two more to come. So there's a lot going on. But yes, we are really now amping up our product rollout in the next few months and few years. Your latest earnings report did have some disappointments, largely to what was happening outside of the U.S., some softness in Brazil, some softness in Russia. What are you seeing in terms of U.S. sales so far this year? Are they strong enough to perhaps counter that weakness for the remainder of the year? Yeah, so what we saw under in April was um, that we outperformed the industry. Um, we saw a good market, a good SAR. Um, we actually started the year by saying that we felt it would be a good year, over 17 million vehicles. Um, that view has not changed. In fact, it may edge up even a little bit further than that. So it's a big month in May. It's a five weekend month. Um, our dealers love weekends to sell vehicles. So, um, yeah, we think that 2015 will be a good year, and we're looking to capitalize on that. And in April, as I said, we outperformed the industry, we grew market share, so we've got good momentum. Alan Beatty, GM North America, good to talk to you. Thank you. Good to speak to you, Wanda. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street.